Hi, my name is Brett Mitchell. We're back again. I'm going to show you some more about uh, rigging the bungee rig uh, using our bungee head. Uh, if you watched my last video, you, well, I showed you how to rig the finesse worm uh, with the bungee head. And I'm got, uh, going to show you some of the other baits we have that you can rig that way also. It's not just for a finesse rig. Uh, what I have here is our stalker crawl. Now this is a flipping and pitching bait, uh, heavy cup. Uh, it's a thick plastic bait. Uh, it's 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 used in in the uh, best way to put it: hand to hand combat, uh, close quarters bass fishing, uh, flipping, pitching, heavy line, uh, uh, braided line. Most of the time is what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to show you what I'm using. I'm using the the quarter ounce head uh, here, and I'm going to put this in the very end of the bait. Now this is typically where you're going to hook uh, the bait. Uh, if you're conventionally Texas style rigging it, you're going to run the hook in here and there's going to be a lead uh, on the line uh, above the hook. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting the, the, the bungee head on the bottom down here. And I'm doing just like I do the finesse worm, I'm running it all the way down to where it's right against the plastic. Uh, uh, and I want that to be screwed in there just tight enough to where it's not jamming and pulling itself back out. Now once I've got the lead on, I've got the leg set, uh, the, the claw separated. Now the, the stalker crawl has got two sides to it. There's a side that has got a relief on it that is made for the hook. Okay, the, When you run the hook out the other side, that's what keeps the bait weedless unless the hook sit in recessed. The other side is just uh, just ribbed and it's got a V in the center and it's flat. Uh, so I'm going to run the hook. This is a 2 aught uh, Gamagatsu uh, wide bend super line hook. And once again, I said this is a flipping bait. Uh, so I'm using a, a big hook. I'm going to be hooked up to this with a 40, 50 pound braid line. Uh, and when I'm setting the hook, I don't want that hook to bend. Uh, so I'm going to hook this, and if you see there's a, the, the right there where the plastic and the two claws come together, I'm going to run that hook straight in the head right there. Once again, give an old man a break. And I'm going to run it down to about halfway of where I'm going to hit the shank of the hook. And then I'm going to turn out. And I'm going to turn out to the rib side, not the relief side. I'm going to turn out to the other side. Run it down. And I'm going to turn around. It's like you rig anywhere, ready, any plastic weedless. And I'm going to try to get that eyelet just about right there. Where it's just sitting out of the tip. Now I'm going to measure up. Once again, I'm going to measure up to see where my... Uh, see where my hook goes through, and I'm going to take the hook and I'm going to run straight through the other side. Uh, for the hook I like to use for it, it's about the third uh, rib up from the bottom. Now, when you rig that, that's going to come up. It's hard to see on the camera, I'm sure. And I want it to come out just inside of that rib inside. I'm not coming all the way out the other side, I'm coming out the rib inside here and I'm covering it with a little bit of base of the, of the hook is a little bit of plastic covered up there which keeps it down okay now what I've got here is a totally weedless flipping bait that's going to yo-yo up and down like this now with the water of course you know the claws will be flapping all over the place uh, the line is not down here at the lid uh, the line is at the top so when I'm flipping it in everything goes down as one string in motion Okay, that's the stalker crawl and that's how to rig it. Thanks for watching.